Good morning, people. A little good morning. A little Sunday message from me. Now that I am waiting for my customers, I thought, why not just do a little Sunday reading? And I have already pulled a card, and the card that came up was Magical Prayer. Or Magic Prayer. Magic Prayer. So a prayer that you have asked for is being answered today, so pay attention. And one thing that came through as well for today was this energy of listening to your emotions or being in your emotions. Very important. I'm going to put the candle on. It is a very interesting energy these days. I can't really pinpoint what it is. It's like a feeling of something is about to happen, but at the same time, it does feel like we are in the unknown when it comes to what is actually happening. So, pay attention to that feeling. Maybe there is messages for us when it comes to that. But, magic prayer. It's interesting that it's like light coming out of her back, I feel. And we store our emotions in our back, right? When we have back problems, it's normally to do with something being released. If it's trauma, anger, fear, that could also be a sign for something unseen coming your way. Or this energy of like, you might not see this coming. I do want to pinpoint this energy for today because this is a Sunday reading. I'm also later after the shoot going to record the Monday and the week ahead reading. But today your prayers will be answered or your your affirmations, your wishes will be answered. Your questions, I guess, is another way to say it. Your your questions will be answered. Whatever you feel confused about. So really pay attention. There is it does it is can I speak? It does look like she's outside, so maybe being outside today is a good idea. It's very windy, so it actually fits well with this. Um, yeah. <laughs> what do I want to say today? Well, let's actually take the book and see what else we can see with this. Spirit is always wanting to help you and to heal you when you are in need. So is this something that you have asked for? Also, it actually looks like um, like her eyes, like they're closed, but there is like a butterfly, right? So again, transformation. Like when you are in a quiet moment, if you're still, you actually know that you are going through transformation. Again, we spoke about that yesterday, right? It does say here, speak your prayers, listen for the answers, act in faith. Very important. But there is something, there is like a, I don't know. I, I can't even put words into it. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's something. Something is happening. Quietly, maybe that's it. Conscious contact with your higher power is achieved through the ritual of prayer and meditation. Speak and listen to the divine force within the field of creation. Something I did hear is that you have been very quiet. You have quiet, quieted yourself down the past days. As, yeah, interesting. I do feel like it's because that your higher self, your higher power, actually knows that you're being prepared for something. Again, we spoke about it yesterday, right? Yeah. Should we just take some time? Also, I haven't used these cards that I got from Anne for a long time. So let's see if there's anything else. Celebration, miracles, you might be prepared for some kind of celebration, but I think you have overcome something recently. Actually, one card that I found on the ground, and I don't know how it got there because I haven't used this deck for a while, is this, and uh, look at that, butterfly. What is the sign that has come up a lot? Butterfly. It changed for the better. And I hoovered the floor countless of times and haven't seen the cards, so I don't know. 
yeah and then the butterfly here so yeah let's see what else it is you need to know also there's wings here angel wings we have three guardian angel so you are oh you're very protected look at that little girl it's all sad You're very protective, whatever it is that you're going through. You're not going through it alone. That is very important for you to know. Healing. Body care. Wow. Healing your body. Maybe you're healing from pain. Physical, mental. Yeah. Self-love. Accepting something about yourself. It doesn't have to have anything to do with your body. It can just be the space that you are in. You're making space, right? We have to accept a lot of things to make space for the good coming in. And some of you guys might do that. Maybe you are healing from illness. Maybe you really have felt ill, right? Um, maybe there has been a release. But you're definitely standing up for like yourself in a way. I mean, again, it depends. you know what you've been going through, right? But there is an end in sight here, in a way. This card really wants to be on top all the time. <laughs> it's Empress. Huh. That was like a little foodle doodle um, candle thing on it. So I paid attention to it being on top. Did we get the, la the Empress last time with we laid cards? Oh, I just paid attention to something. Look at the color of the flower. Pink. Pink. Even if we can't see it at the moment, something is happening. Just have faith, I heard, which is also something, right? Look at that. <laughs> Why is something that comes in quite dramatically? Unexpectedly. Well, we did, like, yeah. We did talk about that. One more shuffle. But the Empress has all no energy. See, there is something. We just speak about the strength, right? There's something that you're ready to realize now. And you shine different at the moment. You do shine different. Maybe it's because you allow yourself to shine, right? You have been hanging upside down. And now you're just accepting how it is. And then you see something from another perspective. Believing and trusting in something, seeing that, yeah, there is a change for the better. What else? Spirit. <laughs> I heard Delete. <laughs> it is obviously Danish, right? <laughs> Me being a Dane. Um, wow, look at that. How do I translate that? It's straight on, or it's like, yeah, like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to translate it. So, we have the King of Swords and the Three of Swords, so some of you guys might, I mean, even if it's King of Swords, male or female, it doesn't matter. Kings are action takers, so maybe there is something here where there was action taken, you or someone else, when it comes to something hurtful. As being healed. It could be from you, it could be from someone else, there could be an uh, apology for some of you. Or you're just healing from something, right? Maybe it affected your body in a way. Mental, physically, emotionally. No. <laughs> what is this about? What is this about, Spirit? So, obviously, we do have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Sun, the Two of Wands, uh, the Two of Swords. Huh. Oh. But it looks like my brother, <laughs> Henrik. <laughs> um, two of swords. But this two of swords is actually, yeah, see, it's not like this anymore. It's like this. Okay. 
something is coming in. For some of you guys, that might actually be something with an apology. If it's yourself apologizing to yourself, being like, I'm sorry, I didn't listen out for the prayers. I didn't listen to myself. I didn't take care of myself. I didn't rest. I didn't, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, yeah. I didn't listen to where our spirit is uh, trying to take me, right? It could be that, or it's someone for some of you guys. <laughs> this just keeps falling down all the time. So... Is there anything else you can uh, give us? An apology doesn't... Wow. An apology doesn't have to come from an ex. It doesn't have to come from um, a romantic person. It can come from a family matter. <laughs> a family matter. It can come from a friend. It can be whatever, right? But it's really someone who's been in their fields. Feels? Feels. It's someone who might have been very stubborn or uh, afraid. I mean... <laughs> Ace of uh, Pentacles, so wow, that is a definitely a beautiful apology. It could be a physical apology, right? Apology, or oh, just this, it's talking about something that happened in the past, in a way. Interesting, and then we have the Ace of Cups, so you, two ha you have two aces. For some of you guys, I do want to say it. there could be a rekindling of love if it's family matters or friendship. There could be some, it could be a friend coming in, apologizing, or just like talking about what happened in the past. You know, it's interesting that this come, it keeps coming up. There is healing ha happening here, and it leads to something when it comes to your body, like a release, right? For both parties, if it's about two people, or it's if it's just you, I think you're just realizing that you might have been stuck in something and maybe there is some kind of apology you need to make to yourself can you help us understand this I heard what more is there to understand <laughs> well there is definitely someone who's coming in to talk about things look at that work things out there might be something with work as well it could be everything people again always take what resonates Flip the roles. It's just a message. It's guidance, okay? Knight of Cups. Well, definitely, um, yeah. Interesting day for some of you. <laughs> for some of you. <laughs> for all of you in your own way. Yeah, starting to work together. There could be something with business and love. I do want to know what the body care is about. Well, I think it's just like you've been taking care of yourself. There's something you have become ready for. Enchantment. Something magical is happening. Hey, unicorn! <laughs> we got the unicorn with the gateway, so something is being activated today, throughout the next week. Obviously, there's no time frame on the on this, but there's a lot of sun going on here. It is a sunny tarot, so... <laughs> Yeah, well, a prayer is being heard, right? Maybe you prayed for some kind of healing. Now something is coming in. Whatever it is for you, again, take what resonates. It's gonna be beautiful, and there is a change for the better. Something, it's a rebirth, right? It's something new being born from it. If it's you um, choosing, obviously, <laughs> you have your own choice when it comes to accepting apology depending on what this other person has done but I mean yeah it's up to you I guess what this is about you know what it's about but uh well definitely an apology for some from someone or for yourself and then a new beginning in something if it's just you yourself and you beautiful well that's the sign. Now I will get ready for my <laughs> shoot. Thank you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.